So let's start building this order bot. Uh, chances are you'll be quite familiar with a lot of the steps in the beginning, so I, I'm just going to rush through them a little bit. Um, so we want to order pizza uh, by amount, by size and by pizza types. So the first thing that we need is to create some custom entities. I already went and did this for the pizza sizes. There's actually a Quora question that answers what type of uh, what sizes of pizzas there pizza there are. So I basically took that as gospel and entered that into my pizza type entity. Sorry, pizza size. And then what I'm going to create now is a pizza type entity. And we're going to keep it quite simple and just offer offer um, five pizza types for now. Pizza Fungi, Pizza Hawaii and Pizza Margarita. And also Pepperoni and Vegetarian. Uh, and let's also enter some synonyms. This is more Italian. Uh, if someone just wants to order a vegetable pizza, because basically vegetarian is pizza with vegetables on top, let's uh, also allow that. Um, margarita, let's account for potential spelling errors. Uh, not everyone knows that you need an H. Uh, Hawaiian pizza. Uh, also, maybe not everyone knows that Hawaii has two eyes, so let's account for the spelling error here as well. And that should about do it. And then also, not everyone knows the term fungi. They might also just go and order mushroom pizza and, and that's it. So, hitting save. And now let's go to our intents um, and make the first intent. Actually, I'm just going to go into the welcome intent and say, mm -mm -mm. I'll just enter a prompt here. Hello. I'm here to fulfill your pizza wishes and then that's that and then to the interesting part we are going to create the pizza order uh, main main intent so I will call this name.start.generic and it will make more sense later but just quickly so I consider uh, one pizza one pizza configuration, which is the combination of amount, size, and pizza type, I quarter I call an item. So essentially, this is an online shop, and you might uh, might be able to order different items, uh, not just pizza. So I'm calling it item. So there's an item. There's a intense on an item level, where you can uh, configure your pizza, and then there's also going to be intense on an order level, where you can. Uh, see your basket and finish your order and things like that. So all those pizza related uh, intents for now are going to be called item. And then it's generic because there's, there's going to be a couple of different intents that can kick off the configuration of pizza. It'll all make more sense later. Um, and then I will create an item context that will allow me later to change certain parameters in my uh, pizza configuration. And also I will create one that says item confirm because I'm going to create a confirmation step in the end. And for training phrases, no, let's actually add our parameters first. So type will be the pizza type that I just entered. 
Um, size will be the pizza size. Uh, entity that I created. And then we also need amount, which will just be the system dot number. So you can also use system integer, but then you can only, it will only uh, recognize digits that the user enters into their utterance. So if I use number, then we can also use uh, words like one, two, three written out. And then, okay, this should be it. Let's add some training phrases. I'm only going to add a couple. Um, you can add more later. I'll add more later as well, but I'm not going to film myself doing it. Um, I'd like three large pizza margarita. And there we have the type. We have the amount and we have the size. Also one pizza fungi. This only has the pizza type and the, oh, sorry, that was wrong. Now this only has the pizza type and the amount and then uh, the slot filling is going to take care of asking for the size. We just need to enter some prompts here. Uh, what pizza type would you like? This is probably not going to be used very often, but we will also use it for a for the case where the user just or says order please and that's how they're going to kick off the order they don't provide any parameter yet then we need all these prompts and then we'll go through it what pizza type do you want and then what size do you want your and then we can already use the type that i have by now because uh, it, they're all required parameters, but type is at the top, so this will always be filled first. And then how many would you like? Okay, I'm just going to hit save. And uh, yeah, in reality, we're going to add more training phrases later, but this should do it for now. Or what if I just say order and then it already knows, okay, I want to order pizza and then it asks me pizza type. Uh, margarita, remember, so I'm pretending to be someone who doesn't know how to spell margarita, so there's a spelling error. And still, because of the synonym that I uh, entered in the entity, it already knows that it's a margarita and then it's asking me for the size normal size and then it knows that it's 12 inch because i entered a synonym normal for the 12 inch and then how many would i like just one now this might not work yet because i just need some more training data um yeah let's hit save and then for the confirmation step, I will do this uh, in this way. I could use follow up intents, but I will need the um, confirmation intents to cover several entry points from different intents. So that's why follow up intents don't work. Um, don't worry, it'll make sense. Uh, it will. It'll make more sense in the next throughout the next couple of training videos where I add more more intense and then it'll all make sense so i called my context item confirm um and then uh, let's just add an item done for now which we'll use later and then Let's add some positive utterances. That's right, correct. Yep. Yeah. 
Oh, good. We can also add more later. Uh, so that's that's it here. Let him confirm. Great. And then I'll ask if the user wants anything else. Um, this is where we'll need the basket feature later because if I just enter another pizza order right away, then it'll just lose the data from my previous one, uh, the previous slots and parameters that were filled. So this is that. I'm just going to copy the name because I am lazy and then create another one with no uh, input context will be item confirm uh, output context will not be item done because it's not done in this case um, so let's add some training phrases nope actually no we can add more later uh, and then if the user says if the user answers, is that correct? And then answers no, uh, then I will prompt, what would you like to change? And then we will we'll have several intents that will allow to change the parameters. I will, yeah, I, I'm just gonna leave it like this for now and then Let's reset this once more. Hi. Uh, one pizza margarita. What size do you want your pizza margarita in? Large, please. I will need some more training data here. So this is how you find out if uh, you entered enough training phrases. Uh, it's the size. Large, please, let's try this once more. When the, after the agent training is done. Yep. Ah, so now it actually kicked off a new um, slot filling process and I started with the size and then it's asking me what pizza type would I want, how many, let's say two. And here I need some more training data as well. Uh, amount. And then someone might write two, please. And here, because I use system.number, it can also recognize the word two. Um, okay. Let's try this once more. And now again, we started from scratch and we have amount filled with two. And then I say pepperoni. And then I say jumbo size. I'm very hungry. We need also to add this. So jumbo is a synonym that I entered in my uh, pizza sizes. So I'll just need to add this as training data. So how did I start last time? I started with two and then pepperoni and then what size do you want? Jumbo. And now uh, this still doesn't work. I wonder why. Jumbo. Oh, I didn't hit save, did I? Uh, uh, uh. Yep, forgot to save. That happens. So let's not make this mistake again. Hit save. And then I will just show you once more the size table, which has Jumbo is a, where is it? It's mapped to the 18 inch. Okay, so uh, pizza, please. 
And then what type of pizza would I like? Pepperoni. What size do you want your pizza? Jumbo. How many would you like? Two. And that's it. Except that I might have. I forgot to add my response here. Uh, 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 great. That's. Um, and then I'm just going to list the parameters that I just got. Type in the size. Can you confirm? And then I will go and confirm my order. This time, let's say I want two large pizza margarita, please. Oh no, it also did not understand this. This is how you train your bot. You just type things and then you add in, add them as training data. Size and type, and that's it. And I will do this once more. Okay, so now it understood, and I can say yes, great, anything else, and that's it. And uh, so this is the basic slot filling, and then we will continue from there. See you in the next tutorial.